If you're going to be using the voice over IP capabilities that are built into Adobe Connect to broadcast your voice to a number of participants, you need to run the audio setup wizard at the beginning of every meeting. So if you go to the meeting menu, manage my settings, and audio setup wizard, we'll open a series of dialog boxes, and you step through them, and you test the sound output, you'll select the microphone you'll be using. In this case, I'm using the Sennheiser USB headset, which is selected. I click Next. Now I'm going to tune the microphone volume by clicking the Record button, and it's going to ask me if I want to allow my computer to broadcast my audio and video. And of course, I do want to allow that in this instance, so I click Allow. And you can see the recording bar moves up and down, and I can stop, and then I can replay So then we click Next, and it wants to test the silence. This is a good step to go through because it attempts to filter out the background noise, things like uh, air conditioner noise, passing cars, um, ambient noise from the hallway or whatever. So you click the Test Silence button, and it's completed its test, and we go Next. And now we're finished. I generally don't touch the advanced settings. It generally works out of the box, so I click the Finish button here. And now I'm ready to broadcast my voice. When I want to do that, if I'm going to be talking in a meeting, I go down to the Talk button here, and I have two options. I can do Hold to Talk, or I can do Hands-Free Talking. Hold to Talk is generally effective when you have more than two or three people who are broadcasting audio. You have to depress the button and it will visually show you that you are broadcasting your audio by the green bars that are popping up and down here. I'm holding the mouse down to keep the button down. As soon as I release that, I'm no longer talking. I'm no longer broadcasting. This helps to conserve bandwidth if you have a number of folks who are using the, the voice over IP capabilities. If it's going to be you and a co-presenter, just two of you, you can do the hands-free and I just click that and that allows me to move my mouse around and not have to worry about keeping it depressed. This would also be uh, useful if you're going to be running through a PowerPoint that you're narrating, even if you may have a number of other presenters with you. It's just good to remember that if you're done talking you can uh, unselect the hands free and go back to hold to talk. Um, that in a nutshell is uh, setting up tuning your audio and being able to broadcast it using Connect.